Good morning, spacemen. Welcome to Space Operations Delta. I'm your captain, Captain Collins, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today, I want to talk about five different ways how you can save your character in the game, or at least let him respawn where you want to. Let's start by jumping right into the game and let's talk about the different ways. We're going here from the simplest to the hardest to achieve, the hardest just because you need the most resources for this. So the first thing that I want to tell you, I can't really show you at the moment, that is respawning just like that. So you're starting out, we're talking about the survival mode in here of course. And you're starting out in the survival mode as a, a simple space engineer without a lot of stuff and just with your character tools and that's it. If you die, you die. You respawn somewhere else. So this is number one. You don't really want to have that for as, as long as it uh, should be for so the first few minutes. <laughs> After that, you want to advance. And you advance with a, a survival kit. Basically, you spawn with a survival kit or you disassemble your survival kit and then you die, then you will respawn somewhere else. But otherwise, you do have your survival kit on your spawning ship or your spawning pod. And this survival kit is the second way you will always spawn near that thing. One thing to mention, if you spawn spawn in this game that means you spawn with nothing on you just with some basic tools so if the only thing that you have is a survival kit you definitely want to make sure that everything you have on you like your better tools because the better tools will also just disappear after you locked off and you need to respawn again so you take your advanced tools you put them into your containers there you go after uh, you have done everything and then you can just log off. A few words to what happens when you log off. When you log off, uh, that means that your character will stay in place just where you left him. And after some time, he will lose energy or maybe oxygen if you're in space and he will die. After he died, you, can, you need to respawn in the game again. But what if you want to prevent to die? What if you don't want to have to put all your stuff back every single time? Well, then you can also build something that is called a cryo chamber. So this is the number three. Building a cryo chamber. This is a big cryo chamber. I do also have the small cryo chamber that looks like this here on the ship. This is a small uh, form factor cryo chamber. They do basically the same. Yeah, so the cryo chamber needs only if you're on a planet, on a habitable planet, the only thing that your cryo chamber needs is energy. So if you go into your cryo chamber, you can keep all the stuff on you. This thing will keep you alive until you lock back on. But you need energy to run this. And if you're in space, you also need oxygen to run this. So it doesn't last unlimited. You need to provide it with materials. On a planet, it's pretty easy. You just put some energy sources there on your grid. Then you put the cryo chamber on your grid because the energy is distributed on your grid uh, through invisible wires if you want to. And that way you can just uh, stay in your cryo chamber forever on a planet. If you're in space, you need to provide it with a resource of power and a resource of oxygen so that you don't die for a long time. One other thing, uh, something that is a little bit more capable than a survival kit is a so-called medical room. A medical room is basically the same as a survival kit with just a few more options like for example changing your appearance. But the medical room will also do the same work as a survival kit. So for example you have a big a ship and the survival kit doesn't really fit into that. You want to have a medical room because it just looks better or it just fits more into your style. Then this medical room will also serve the same as a survival kit. So you will respawn there. And survival kits and medical rooms are not only useful for logging off of your game but also maybe that happens in space engineers we all know that maybe you simply die because on a planet you hit a tree or in space 
you were shut down or maybe you were shut down on a plant whatever happens so you die in the game you need something to respawn at and this is your survival kit or your medical room so be sure to have one of these although you have a cryo chamber so the cryo chamber is just a solution to keep you alive the time that you locked off the next thing that also works because like i said the cryo chamber is just providing you with temperature and oxygen in this case you can also do the same thing by going into your cockpit so this is the fifth way you maybe did not thought about before if you go into your cockpit, this is also an area which provides you with a temperature, with oxygen and all this stuff. But maybe you need some more oxygen because of course the cryo chamber is using not that much because uh, you, everything of your uh, body, your body rate and everything will just go down. But you can do the same thing with a cockpit. So if you have a source of oxygen in your ship and you are good with that, then for example, just for one night, you know that you come back the next day. You can also just stay in your cockpit and the cockpit will provide the same amount of shelter as the cryo chamber does. Of course, if you get shut down or anything happens in the game and you will blow up, you will be dead afterwards. You need a survival kit or a medical room again. So be sure that you don't put your survival kit or your medical room only in one single ship because if that ship blows up, you start somewhere random you don't want to have that uh, maybe put a small base on an asteroid maybe put a small base on a planet so that you have a starting point whenever something weird happens in space so this is the five ways you have to secure your player and uh, thank you so much for watching and i will keep doing more and more of these videos so if you like it press like and subscribe afterwards we'll see us on twitch twitch.tv slash captain collins and have a great time. See you soon. I'm out. Have a good night.